What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love you guys. To the moon and freaking back, you know that. <clears throat> to my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really, really do appreciate that energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm soaking it up. To all of you fantastic rock stars who like, share, subscribe, let the ads play, book me for readings, leave kind words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending the same exact energy back. Thank you so much. All right. This is a Scorpio affair. Make no mistake, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cat, your dog, your hot Cheetos. <laughs> Whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies and stay tapped in like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, you need to be a part of the members only community. Catch me on a live or when I'm currently running a special. Anything else you need to know be in the description box below, guys. Let's get into the messages here. What's going on with Scorpio? <clears throat> What's going on with Scorpio here? Somebody is thinking about you, Scorpio, real heavy. Somebody could be trying to send you telepathical messages here. You could be feeling very off with your partner because of it. Okay, I'm getting that. This is somebody you were once very passionate about. What's the messages here for Scorpio? Writing it out. Yeah, I feel like somebody is stuck in a relationship. Um, <clears throat> this feels like one thing led to another. Children may even be involved with this, but this person is this person is thinking about you heavily. But they they're gonna ride out where they're at. You're still holding on to each other. This person is holding on to your energy. I feel like you holding on to theirs too, Scorpio. I feel like this feels like you both are riding it out. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. It, it, it's almost like both of y'all are unhappily married somewhere. But y'all just going to... We're going to just duke this shit out. We're just going to fuck with the energy. we just going to go with it type shit. Yeah. Like, right, what the fuck? What else? Anger management. Yeah, I feel like y'all with these people, y'all riding it out, but it's a rough fucking ride. Y'all arguing, y'all, you know. This toxic as fuck. So I feel like, Scorpio, somebody's still toxic. Somebody still like this type of shit. Somebody having job worries, scared, somebody trying to... Yeah, this feels this you know what I'm getting to, Scorpio. With this still holding on to each other. Yeah, this feels like this feels like somebody's spouse is aware. I feel like somebody somebody's spouse is is watching you. I feel like it angers them, Scorpio, that this person is still, you know, they're married to them, having children or whatever this is, building, creating things together, and they still thinking about you. This person could have saw a text that they sent you, like a happy birthday or Merry Christmas or something like that. Anytime anything about you is said or represented, this person goes, they flip. Okay, they just flip. They get mad about you, Scorpio, okay, and vice versa. Okay, take take it where it resonates. This person is, is trying to figure out why the hell are you still with them? You didn't wish them a Merry Christmas. This person is saying, 
you wish this person a Merry Christmas before you wish them. You was you wish this person a, a happy birthday, 12.01 a.m., and somebody had to remind you that it was your spouse's birthday. You just ride. Somebody just riding it the fuck out. You is too. Somebody be. You being a placeholder, Scorpio, and you don't give a fuck. It says lying to him about you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like both of y'all lying to y'all spouses about each other. Both of y'all want to be together. Y'all. Both of y'all somewhere unhappily married, riding this shit out. I don't know why. For appearances. This person was there for you, but I'm talking about following your heart. Y'all not whoever y'all not following y'all heart, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all just and this is tumultuous as fuck. This this connection with these other people is toxic as fuck. Cause you don't want to be there. You know you don't belong there, but I don't know. It's, I don't know why you riding it out. I'm gonna clarify though and see why y'all riding this shit out. Yeah, look. Somebody's your ego and your pride. I won, bitch. So, Scorpio, somebody, somebody, y'all with people who, y'all with people who feel like they took y'all from each other. It feels like matching energy here, mutual feelings. It feels like what happened on your side happened on their side. And in the middle of this reading is anger management. Both of y'all are just like, it's like y'all fucking mad that y'all don't have the courage to live y'all life together. And y'all living with these motherfuckers, the I won bitches. The ones who ain't who don't love you, who gonna bread crumb you. They just want to win the trophy. They want to take you. This is a third party. They want to take you from, you know, this connection. This is somebody whose intentions was to break up this connection. And it's almost like y'all under some type of spell where y'all telepathic, telepathically communicate with each other and stay connected. But it's like y'all both pissed about the third party situation is what I'm getting. Yeah, it says all seeing. I, I see everything, bitch. Yeah, so it's like you peep game, Scorpio. They did too. Something very significant about that. I feel like both of y'all are lying to y'all selves about y'all's connection because of what y'all went through. But I feel like y'all are no good for anybody else. It's like y'all are very angry and hostile about being in a connection, being with somebody that y'all don't want to be with. But whoever I'm speaking to, it's like you didn't chose to be riding it out with, choose to be riding it out with somebody else. Well, you did. What I'm trying to get at is like, um, if it hadn't have been for this third party situation, like y'all would still be connected is what I'm getting here. Okay. And it's like Scorpio peep the bullshit. That's what I'm getting. But y'all, y'all still have this energetic pool. Y'all are, y'all are with, y'all are in another connection with other people, but all y'all think about is each other. Okay. I, I can't get no, you know, more vivid than that. Um, let me see here. So definitely, this feels like uh, soulmates in separation or like a twin flame energy. Somebody is very remorseful about how this ended or what happened. Because I feel like it wasn't their intentions. I mean, we definitely know it wasn't their intentions for you to find out. But they never intended to hurt you with this, okay? This person is still holding on to you with dear, by, with dear life is what I'm hearing. All right, they keep going to pop out. I ain't going to take them, though, because... Let's see. What's the message this here for Scorpio? What is this person feeling? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, on the bottom of the deck, it says, I'm afraid that it's too late to turn around and make it right. That's this person's overall energy, Scorpio. On writing it out, it says, I was misguided, I was blinded, and I could not see straight. Yeah. I'm telling you, if this person knew this was going to cost them you or vice versa, Scorpio, it would have never happened. And now this is somebody operating straight out of ego and pride. Because you left them because of their indiscretion. They married this bitch. They go towards her. I won, bitch. See the ring she flaunting? In turn, you do the same thing. Why? Because of pain, because of hurt, because of anger. What? You wouldn't have married somebody else? You wouldn't have married the bitch that broke us up? It's that type of energy here. 
Okay, you got to all see and not like your your intuition, your women's intuition was telling you your husband was sleeping with somebody. I'm just getting that. Yes, Antonio, it can be reversed. Okay. On still holding on, it says hurting you was not the plan. Still holding on to each other. Yeah, and that's and that's why you can't you both can't let go because it's something very significant about why this person cheated. It's something very significant about that because I'm 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 kind of getting the energy of this person like trying to get back at an ex or some shit like that for something they did. They didn't mean to hurt you. This person, I feel like you came on to into some shit, some rebound shit. People who off and on type shit. Okay. That's 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 exactly what I'm getting here. Both of y'all was on this type of shit. I feel like Y'all situations was mirroring each other before y'all met each other. And I feel like y'all both went back to y'all fucking exes. This feels like somebody who who found somebody that they really connect with, that that's really somebody they should be with, okay? But due to anger management, due to familiarity, y'all keep going back to the bullshit. And now somebody is like, I feel like this person is, is trying to like clear this up. They 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 want to know like are you tired of riding it out? You just gonna keep riding this shit out? What you gonna do? This person is it's almost like they waiting on you to move, which ain't the right move. Okay, just period. Like, cause you shouldn't be in something that you're not happy in in the first place. It don't have shit to do with Scorpio and how you betrayed them. On uh, anger management, you're pulling. I am still healing. Yeah, this person is letting you know like they still going through twelve step programs. They're still trying to get, you know, to a point where they can leave this situation. It just seems like it never happens. On lying to him about you, it says hurting you hurt me even more. Yeah. And by that, he means, you know, by him going back to this bitch, hurt him even more. Because if he had stayed with you, he would have got, you know, gotten into something that was healthy and whole. Something he would have been fulfilled and happy in. So it wouldn't have been all this anger management needed. It wouldn't be all these, you know, arguments ensuing all the time about nothing other than the fact that we just, we're not supposed to be together. A lot of these arguments are just because we just don't match. We matched five years ago. We matched a year ago. We matched three years ago. We don't match this year. No more. And y'all keep trying to make shit match. Can you put a square in a circle? Can you put a triangle in the circle? It's like it don't the shit don't fucking go. It says I won, bitch. I'm the missus now. <laughs> it says I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. So I don't know what the fuck she thinks she won, or or, or I mean, did you win? Cause that like for me you didn't win. For me you still losing. Like big, you're tanking your feelings. A bitch just riding it out with you. Like, this is somebody who went back to familiar. You did the same thing, Scorpio. Y'all mirroring each other. And now, you know, somebody is telepathically bringing up the question. Are you still willing to just ride it out and be angry just so somebody can say they got a trophy on their arm, just so somebody say they won you? Is that is that what this is about? Like, this person want to know because I feel like this... I feel like both of y'all are leaving y'all spouses. This person want to know, though, when y'all do that, are y'all coming back together or are y'all still going y'all separate ways? You, you going, you know, another route with somebody else and is that what they should be doing? It's almost, it, it almost feels like that. <laughs> feels like this person want to know what's your next step because your next step always they next step. Y'all mirroring each other. Clarify riding it out. Many. You know, I'm seeing the King of Cups in reverse, the Tower. Yeah, both of y'all. So definitely a divorce coming. I feel like this shit done got real toxic. Like maybe people putting their hands on you or some shit like that, Scorpio. Like yeah, this person. I feel like it ain't you doing it. I feel like it's y'all spouse like trying to control y'all or some shit. Like trying to make you want them or some shit like that. Yeah, the two of swords. Yeah, I feel like this person is telepathically giving you an ultimatum, Scorpio. Like they're saying, okay, look, this is where I'm at. 
I'm in mental fucking anguish. I'm unhappily married. I don't want to be here no more. I want to be with you and only you. You know, I, I want you to know this shit real. I'm sick of ride, just riding it out. Yeah, the four of swords. This person is very direct in their conversation, Scorpio. And when I, when I say that, I mean this person's mind is already made up. They're leaving. They just want to know, can they leave with you? Okay, that's just what I'm hearing. I can't make this shit up. The two of cups. They want to know if them not riding it out with them anymore means them riding it Riding out the rest of their life with you. They want to know that. Because in their mind. In their mind. It's forever with you. Outside of you. They don't know what's going to happen. But they just know this, this bitch right here. This Karen bitch. It, it can't go on no more. This person is really realizing. The ride not really cost them more than anything. It cost them you. Okay period. Them trying to get back at their ex. Them believing their ex. Whatever this is that pulled them away from you. They regretting the fuck out of it now. To the point where they're leaving this situation. And they want to know. Does me not. Is is me not riding out with them. Anymore equals us being together. Because you did the same shit I did. We did the same exact thing to each other. So can we. What's up. This person won't forever with you is what I'm getting. Alright it says. We're clarifying, um, still holding on to each other here. Hurting you was not a part of the plan. The first thing you pull in is the Knight of Wands. So this is somebody who is real promiscuous. I mean, they, they step around. You know, this, this, to me, to me, this is signifying that rebound I talked about. This person, they, they were on and off. They've always had this toxic connection with each other. It may be due to drugs, maybe due to alcohol. It don't have to be. It could be as simple as soul ties, Scorpio. But the thing about the connection with you and this person, you never, you never were as connected to your ex as you are to this person. But familiarity and you not wanting to heal at the time... Or release this person is what got both of y'all caught up in this real life, like, anger management fucking marriage where everybody's unhappy. Everybody, the four people are unhappy, but they're willing to ride it out. All right, what else? For whatever reason, clarify this Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody very rebellious. They're more like a free spirit. They're very charming, but they're always in and out. They're always in and out. The Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, it's like this person, you know, Scorpio, they've mastered this ex. You've mastered your ex. You you could go back into that situation with a blindfold on and you could do it. You know, you've been doing this person for years. You know them inside and out, but you're not holding on to them. Okay, it's, it's like you've learned to love somebody, but... With this person, you just in love with them. You always have been. Okay, this person pays attention to you more than anybody ever have. Why? Because they're connected. But I feel like this person had infidelity problems. This person, this person, at the time, they, they really did, they really were going through something with this ex. She had the six of cups in reverse. It's like now they don't want anything to do with the ex anymore. That familiarity that they have with this person, they don't have that connection anymore. That's just turned into anger. It's turned into this person hating the mother of their kids or hating somebody that used to be somebody very instrumental in their life. Whoever your person is, Scorpio, after riding this shit out, they just, they really want a clean break. And they feel like, yeah, the hangman in reverse. They feel like a clean break is with you. Their perspective is distorted when it comes to you because um, they just want what they want. Okay? Clarify anger management and I'm, I am still healing here for Scorpio. Yeah, the emperor. See, with this person, Scorpio, they feel like once they <coughs> divorce, you know, they're back in that emperor energy. And what this person is saying is, you know, what they want to do is be an emperor to you. They want to protect you. They want to, you know, this person is saying, I've matured the world card. 
They really want to know if they end it all, will you be with them, Scorpio? This person wants you to know they really regret how they hurted you. They really regret how everything ended because they feel like they blindsided you with this. Like this person know you, you felt that connection with them. This could even be love. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. I feel like I feel like the thing about you and this connection, Scorpio, is it came so quick that you don't that you don't realize it was purposed. That the in and out was so quick. You know, the meeting this person, this person going back to them to their ex, you going back. I feel like it's no fault here. It's no blame. I feel like you and this person was just on the same journey. Yeah. It says lying to him about you and hurting you, hurting, hurting you hurt me even more. You pulling the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, you cut off all communication with this person. They cut off all communication with you. Y'all did the same exact thing here to, to move forward in these marriages. Because for some reason, y'all decided not on each other. Y'all decided on writing it out. All right, clarify this eight of wands in reverse. Even though y'all felt connected, y'all disconnected from the wrong connect. Y'all should have connected and y'all should have disconnected from the, the other people. Yeah, look, the will of fortune. Now here y'all are, y'all lying to y'all spouses about how y'all really feel and who y'all really love. Just to be able to ride it out. When you ride it out, you got to lie. The king of wands in reverse. When you riding it out, you got to lie. You're not passionate about this connection. They've never been passionate about this connection. After you, it's almost like when you meet somebody that ignite a certain type of fire in you as far as love is concerned. You're always looking for somebody else to up that. You're always looking for somebody else to be able to do that plus add to that, right? And it's just like with the King of Wands in reverse, they neither one of y'all expected anything from these marriages. Y'all knew it was going to be a farce. Y'all wanted to be with each other. Y'all knew it's not that y'all wanted to be with each other. It's just that the chemistry was so off the chain. It was worth exploring and y'all didn't. Okay, y'all went for familiarity. It says, I won, bitch. I'm the missus now. And it says, I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and your warm embrace. They're not even sleeping together. This somebody who's more about appearances. She wants people to know she took him from you or you took him from her or whatever the fuck. And it's like, really, bitch, you're slow. The five of swords, you're really slow in the mind if you see this other than anything other than riding it out. The moon is in reverse. It's like, you see it for what it is, Scorpio. The ace of swords. Like, this person is no longer able to stay in the same house with this person. Their truth, their heart is with you, Scorpio. It always has been. It never left, is what I'm hearing. So she really didn't win anything. Yeah, you finally got the ring and the promise that you have been hounding him about all these years. This person, it's almost like both of y'all with these connections, y'all gave these people an ultimatum. This wasn't like a, a, a connection where this person would have got on one knee and asked you to marry them. This is something like somebody asking you to just be their life partner. Let's hitch up and just pay bills and live. We ain't got to be, you know, you can learn to love me type shit. And with this person, it's like, I don't know that much about you, but I, I love being with you. The feeling of it is what you miss, both of y'all. And that's, that's to me, when you're talking about spending the rest of your life with somebody, they got to be, they got to be emotionally mature and ready to love you in all your forms. And you got to be the same way when you're talking about loving somebody else. This shit ain't just about when you lit. Partnering up when you lit. This is about partnering up and staying partnered up with the Ace of Swords. Somebody telling you about your natural bone, ass, and you receive it because you know this person love you. Okay, it's 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 like that. Y'all in these other karmic connections that y'all in that y'all riding it out. It's like it look good on paper, but are you driven? Are you inspired? Are you passionate? Are you, you know, in love? No. You you've learned to love this person. You have a respectable love for this person. 
This is somebody you know don't have a plan. This is somebody you know you got to be the lead. You're riding it out. And it's just somebody's not riding it out anymore. The anger management in the middle of the reading, this is driving somebody crazy. They no longer want to be a part of it is what I'm hearing. All right, what's the advice here for Scorpio? Somebody is breaking free, Scorpio, and they want you to have first dibs. Just period. And I feel like one of y'all pushes the other to leave. It's like if they not going to ride it out no more, I ain't going to fucking ride it out no more. You have the Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> the Tower. An abrupt ending. Yeah, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody somebody tried to stop this union. Y'all exes, I feel like this was... I feel like this was intentional with the I won bitch type shit. I feel like both of y'all exes knew about this person. This could be somebody you dated briefly. Or it could be somebody you dated for four, five, six years. This person is coming back though. This person is just like dropping the fucking mic. It's like mic drop, curtain close. I'm done riding it out. I don't want to ride no more. I want to sit on the damn couch with the person that I love. That I'm in love with. That's you, Scorpio. And vice versa. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, the star. This person kept hope. This person kept hope alive, Scorpio, that they make their way back to you. And that's exactly what they've done. And this person is simply asking you a question. <laughs> you ready to ride? You ready to ride, Clyde? Okay. Period. Let's get some energies about this person's feelings for you, Scorpio. As if we don't already see what's going on. What's the energy here? What does this person want, Scorpio, to know respectfully the truth? Respectfully the truth. What does this person want Scorpio to know? Alright. On the bottom of the deck, it says, my ex is stressing me out right now. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's why I'm telling you both of y'all chose familiar. Both of y'all chose familiar. Both of y'all went right back to y'all exes. This is somebody y'all tried to prove a point with a rebound or some shit like that. Y'all going right back. It says, I want to cuddle with you. That's what I'm saying. Like, this person tired of riding it out. They want to sit on the couch with you and grow old, Scorpio. They, don't, they, they sick of this arguing, anger management and shit. They know it's not that I'm angry. It's just I'm not happy. It says, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, this person want to know you ready. Like, was that, was that riding it out enough for you to know that, man, you need to ride it out the rest of our lives together? It says, I wonder sometimes if you're with me for the right reasons. It says, I feel like a loser. <laughs> I feel like this both y'all energy. Because y'all knew y'all shouldn't have went with those exes, but y'all chose familiar instead of, you know, cho choosing new, choosing to take a leap of faith with somebody else. It says, I've been playing mind games with you. Yeah, I know, because this person can tell you how much they loved you. It would have been freakish almost. It says, I can't wait to show you off, just period. It says, I don't want to share you, just period. I keep dreaming about us, period. I'm telling y'all, when it's true love, man, these men, they they don't just say, I don't want to share you. They do the thing that keeps you from being shared. What I said, okay? It says, you are my sunshine, baby, period. It says, I, I watch your social media every day. Yeah, they giving you love and support and all that shit. It says, I don't want to hurt your feelings at all, period. This person, I'm telling you, Y'all was mirroring the same energy. This person, they done with a farce of a marriage. They done riding it out. You right, done riding it out. And some type of way telepathically, this person is urging you, you know, to reach out. Are they going to reach out? One or the other. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, share the video. Let those ads play. When you donate to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we were supposed to do the um, drawing. Last night, I forgot, y'all. I'm sorry. I was sick taking medicine, but we'll do it next Saturday. All right. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.